Hello YouTube, this is Asatsu5 and today this is going to be a 2 minute knife review over the Cold Steel Kudu. This is Lynn Thompson's interpretation of the Okapi knife. The Okapi knife uh, wasn't originally made in Africa, I don't think. It was made for the German colonies in Africa, but they're now made in South Africa. This one's made in China. And they're known, they're kind of like in the same category as the Spanish Navaja, the Open Nail, the um, uh, Duke Duke knife, um, the, um, by the way, um, um, Higo Nakami, uh, Auto Messel, Cat Messel, and they'll just uh, do everything knife that represents a region. It's the cheap knife of that region, and um, you know uh, these are they do everything that they, they uh, uh, cut up your food, skin game, open boxes, open up people. Um, you know those um, stories of different thug uh, groups using these as weapons. Um, but they're just a clasp knife, uh, has a ratcheting locking uh, system, and the cool thing about this cold steel is that it's well made, it's cheap, has a good steel on it that'll get razor sharp, but it's so cheap that um, you don't mind cutting dirty stuff with it. You can use it to cut shingles, which is what my brother used it for. He cut shingles with it, and he also sharpened it on a cinder block. It's just one of those knives that you can really use and abuse and not have to worry about it. So, um, you know, um, if you have something really nasty that you don't want to use your William Henry or your um, uh, Sabenza, <laughs> something really nice you don't want to use to cut it because it's going to chip your blade out, this is a good knife to have. It's a good beetle knife. You can use it for anything. Opening up boxes, cutting up food, opening up people. Um, it can do just about anything, but yet if something happens to it, it's no big deal. So that's it. I'm a Satsu 5, and I'm out.